All right. Now, so far we have we have um, uh, explained uh, the definition of usul fiqh, fiqh and sharia, and we have come to uh, to the hukm shari, and we said that the hukm shari is the most important thing in the in the life of a Muslim, since it. Uh, Hukm Shari is the most important thing in the life of the Muslim since it leads him to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him. Uh, lead him to the uh, obedience of Allah. Uh, if you do the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you, uh, you get the pleasure of Allah. And when you get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you will be uh, entered the, the paradise. All right, this is the Hukm Shari. And we said that the Hukm Shari is classified into Hukm uh, Taklifi and Hukm Wadai. Uh, all of that. Now, we come to, to another stage or step in Usul al Fiqh that is to get into the Adilla. And I want you to focus on that to understand what is Dalil. Well, actually, we say always that uh, that uh, you, as a Muslim, you search for, you seek the hukm shari. Whenever you, you, you get the hukm shari, you apply it. So, and usul al fiqh in general is the science or the subject that will lead you to the hukm shari, or it searches to get the hukm shari in general and in particular the adilla of usul al-fiqh these are the uh, uh, the uh, you know the components of usul al-fiqh uh, which uh, function is to uh, uh, to uh, lead us when i say dalil dalil in arabic means uh, guide and what is guide the guide is to uh, lead me to the right path, the straight path, to lead me to the right or the uh, the hukm shari, which is uh, uh, which is to be um, given by Allah subhanahu wa taala, and Allah is pleased when I do it. Right. So the word dalil itself means to guide us. Then what is what is uh, what are these alilla that guide us to the hukm shari? The function of usul al fiqh is to guide us to the hukm shari. How? And I said before, uh, when I ask about fiqh, it is to ask what. When I ask about usul al fiqh, it's to say, to ask how and why, right? So uh, uh, the. Uh, the adilla actually they are uh, the mechanism that will take us lead us to find out the hukm shari and this adilla uh, have uh, taken most care of the usuliyin and they agreed and disagreed uh, upon some of them of course, there are adilla which are unanimously agreed upon by the scholars, and some other adilla which are not unanimously agreed upon by the scholars. This year, inshallah, will take, will cover the adilla which are agreed upon by the scholars. These adilla are specifically the Quran, Sunnah. Ijma' and Qiyas. Quran, Sunnah, Ijma' and Qiyas. These are Adilla. What does it mean when I say Dalil? Dalil is to guide, guide us to the Hukm Shari. The way, how, how, how we are guided to the Hukm Shari. All right. Now, the first Dalil of these Adilla of Usul al-Fiqh 
is the Quran. All right, yes, the Quran. The Quran is the uh, axis around which all the Islamic civilization uh, uh, rounds, or the uh, uh, the the uh, the uh, holy uh, text that all the Muslims abide by all the time, and they have solutions for all the problems whatsoever. So when I say the Quran, I need first to de define the Quran. Now, look, when I say I study the Quran in a 